no longer a candidate for the Republican nomination for governor of Iowa, nor will I be a candidate for any other political office in 1972. This decision is final, it's irreversible, and has been reached after extensive consultation, some thought and soul searching. It's been a very difficult personal decision to make, but it is the decision which I believe to be best for me and my family, for the Republican Party, and for the state of Iowa. Nearly one year ago, when I announced my intention to be a candidate the, for governor, the circumstances were very different than they are today. At that time, there was rather widespread dissatisfaction with the incumbent's performance in, audience, in office, and there was great concern that he could not be reelected. During the past 12 months, the incumbent governor's image has changed. His image today is that of a stronger, more decisive leader. He's more communicative with people, and he has effectively used the press coverage that the office of the governor commands to improve his political image. As a result, he is a stronger candidate today than he ever has been. All of this has led me to believe and that while I have the friendship of the majority of Iowa Republicans, I do not have their votes at the present time. I want to make it abundantly clear, because of the speculation and the rumors that have occurred recently, that there are no deals, either politically or financially, in this decision to withdraw from the race. I will assume some special campaign assignments for the re-election of President Nixon. I am not going to retire from the political scene. I notified uh, the governor several days ago, and he said thank you for letting him know ahead in advance. Any other comment about your future plans uh, in relation to him politically? No, I have none. That, that will be up to him. Um, I would expect that it is. Um, there were a number of uh, inquiries that were made immediately as national chairman of the lieutenant governors and as being active in the, uh, all areas and levels of government. Uh, my background in intergovernmental relations, which is what they were interested in, uh, is something that uh, in selling of their programs and in trying to work out their problems with the states is uh, of some value. I think that we've experienced four years um, where we haven't had very good cooperation between the legislative leadership and the office of governor. I lay most of the blame with the legislative leadership, of which he has been uh, one, and uh, I think that I can do a much better job in working with the governor. When uh, differences arise, we'll work them out quietly and uh, not be pounding on tables uh, in front of the, the cameras uh, exploring them. Uh, I think it's important that the lieutenant governor work effectively with the governor and to this uh, way of thinking I think they should run as a team. The governor elected in a gubernatorial primary and the convention then will select the running mate. That will commit the lieutenant governor to the governor's program and that's the way I think it should be. Form. All of the legislature candidates from John Murray, who is a Republican candidate. Why? I ordered.
Okay, now your last name. Steinmetz. S T E I N M E T Z. Your first name. Look at high government officials or those seeking that office, that if they want to deal in the public trust, they must have the trust of the public. And why anyone is concerned about letting the public know, is some of that money in fact coming from those large corporate structures in this state that receive large military contracts? Is that why the governor of this state will not take a firm, strong position against this war? Or does he, in fact, support the Nixon policies? If he does one way or the other, then let him say so. This specific, almost pastoral scene belies the determination that these students have. They're every bit as much against the war as those who throw bombs and block interstates. But they feel that the things they are doing here represent a better way to combat the war in Vietnam. From the Iowa State University campus, this is Greg Brumley. We'd like to stress to the Pamela residents that these sirens, though they are given, their best means of protection against such a storm or tornado would be to keep their radio or TV tuned to WOI. The polls show Democratic candidate Dick Clark lagging far behind the incumbent Republican that he's trying to beat in November. So Clark, taking a cue from a number of people who have succeeded in walking campaigns for nominations this year, is going to try it himself in an effort to bridge that gap. I'm absolutely convinced that the greatest...